Welcome everyone. I'm State Representative Dan Bernowski from the 28th Legislative District. And I'd just like to give you a brief update about what's going on during this 2022 short legislative session. For the most of us, it's remote again, although there are protocols in place that will allow for some House members and Senate members to work from campus. A little bit how it works. We take a COVID-19 rapid test three days a week to ensure that everybody working on campus is actually COVID negative. But we also have other safety protocols in place. We work individually in our own offices. And for those of us that are working from the floor, we continue to practice masking and social distancing. If somebody does become sick, there are alternatives allowing for them to work. Namely, a lot of members continue to work from home to allow them to not get exposed to each other. And we feel that these are very important steps that we have put into place that will allow us to keep working for you on your behalf from here in Olympia. I just wanted to remind everybody that there are more ways than ever for you to be involved in the process of government. Namely, we continue to broadcast all of our meetings on TVW. We also broadcast all of our floor action on TVW, where you see us working and passing bills. Also, there are continued opportunities for you to testify on behalf of the bills or policies that you care about. All you have to do is go to the state legislative website and you can sign in whether or not you want to testify and actually speak to the policy that you care about. You always have the opportunity to write in in favor of policies that you also care about. Additionally, you can always send us an email. You can visit our website. You can certainly call. And that's really how we continue to do good work on your behalf. We can't do it without your input. A couple of policy priorities that I have for this session are for robust workplace protections and to make sure that workers can more rapidly have access to workers' compensation that they deserve if they get injured or hurt on the job. The first policy I'd like to highlight will allow for workers to record their own independent medical exams. This will ensure a couple of things. This will ensure that the exam that is taking place is done fairly and thoroughly, so that way workers have access to the workers' compensation benefits more quickly so they can get back to work more rapidly and in a way that they're fully healthy and able to do the job. Another policy that I'd like to highlight will allow for State Department of Labor and Industries to make rulings and suggestions on ergonomics. Science has come a long way on repetitive motion injuries and how it affects our bodies, whether it's soft tissue injuries or musculoskeletal injuries when it comes to repetitive motion. What this will do is will allow for a lot of workplaces across our state to put protocols in place that will allow for workers to, especially in industries such as custodial work, janitorial work, it will allow for labor and industries to address certain workplace repetitive motion injuries. So that way workers have the ability to have the safest workplace environment available so that way they don't suffer from repetitive motion or musculoskeletal injuries. I think those are a couple of bills that are gonna allow for workers to get back to work if they're injured more efficiently and will allow for safer workplaces to begin with. Also, I'm working on a bill that will clarify to local law enforcement agencies that they are authorized to use less than lethal munitions to make sure that interactions between law enforcement and the public are more safe. We need to give officers all the tools that they need to succeed out in the field so that way they can continue to do a good job of enforcing our laws and continue to do a good job of keeping all of us safe. But these less than lethal munitions will allow for them to interact with the public more safely. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate all of you that have taken the time to reach out and certainly continue to do so. Keep sending me emails, keep calling my office and keep signing in to testify on the bills and policies that are important to you. Thank you so much, and we will see you and talk to you again soon. Take care.